Tú eres friki. Ya aprendí. Ya aprendí. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another video with your boy, the one and only, Mr. All right, I don't know why the. Honestly, I don't know why I do that, but I do it anyway. Welcome back, guys, to another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna teach ya the best hookah flex ever. You guys already know. All Dominicans, hey, yo, I'm sorry, but we love our little hookah sesh. Yo, it's just, honestly, we just do it for the smoke. We don't get nothing out of it. Like, at first, when you first smoke it, like, you do get a little buzz at first. But, um, disclaimer, if you're under the age of 18, don't watch this video. I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a hookah. If you guys don't even smoke, then don't watch. But if you guys just want to watch, just so you know, just in case you go to a party and then they ask you, like, yo, can you make a hookah? Or if you're a guy and there's this cute girl who smokes hookah, trust me, if you know how to make a hookah, they're going to come to you, boy. I'm telling you, I know what I'm talking about. But yeah, guys, first things first, you're going to need all the hookah stuff. Look, I got you right here. You're going to need all the hookah stuff. Um, you can buy this at the Habibi store or online. Whatever you want to do. You can get it online for cheap. But, um, yeah, so it comes with a little cup. La copa, tu sabes, la taza. That's what we call it in Spanish. Then it comes with this little metal thing that goes in this little green thing or blue, whatever color you get. And, uh, yeah, it's just that. You get that. And then you also have the hose, of course, which is where you pull from. This is not the one that it comes with. This is what we bought, like, you know, because we don't like the other one. The other one's nasty and dirty and it gets dirty and it gets stuck. We don't like that. So we get another hose from somewhere else. And yeah, but the most important thing is the taza and the flavor. Of course, you guys have a whole bunch of different flavors you can choose from. This is just mint. Um, I also have watermelon with mint. Um, there's a whole bunch of different flavors you can choose from, like mango, uh, apple. There's a whole bunch. I tried them all, but the ones that, you know, are most famous, is just regular mint by itself. I don't know why. People just... You know, like mint. It's just simple, basic, and people just like it. You feel me? And of course, um, my lazy ass, I just get these little things right here. Um, these are the little, uh, let me show you guys. Like, these are, this is aluminum that goes on top once. You'll see what I'm talking about as I start make the video, you know what I mean? When I start going, then you'll see what I'm talking about. But I'll, I'll talk more about this once I get there, okay? Cool. First things first. Oh, obviously you want to get the water, right? There's like different kinds, right? So you'll get used to it and you'll, you'll know where to put the water to depending on which one you have. I've been, we've had this hookah for like two years, probably more. So I already know where the water should be at for me, at least for it works. Different people have different ways of like putting the water. I don't think it really matters as long as the it's enough water. You feel me? You, you can feel it. But that's we'll put that on the side because this is not really that important just put water in the damn thing put this middle thing there and yeah let's get to the let's get to where the real fun starts basically so you got the copa right if you're a real if you're a real juquero then you literally put the flavor on there with your fingers but no estoy en eso i don't really want to go wash my hands so i'm gonna use this little tonsil little looking things that we use for it and we're gonna go ahead and start. See, I'll do it right here, guys. I'll do it from right here. That way you guys can see what I'm doing. As I go, I'll tell you guys what the most important part is. You know what I mean? Uh, when making the hookah, it's making sure that you put not too much flavor, but not too little flavor, and make sure that it's evenly spread out. You'll see what I'm talking about. But, so yeah, this is what the, um, what the flavor looks like. Let me see. This is what it looks like. You can get these small bags that cost like six bucks, something like that. Or you can get the big bowls. I don't have the big bowl, which is like $11, $12, depending where you are. Some people sell it for more. Some people sell it for less. And this one's straight up like mint. <sighs> but um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put some flavor on the uh, on the bowl. Like I said, if you don't like smoking and you're just watching the videos for me, yo, I love you. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. Share, for people. Share it to people who smoke hookah. I don't know if you know somebody, share it so they can, you know, make the best hookah flex in the parties. You feel me? Listen, if you get invited for the hookah, that's that's good enough. Like me, I've been invited to parties because of my hookah. I ain't gonna lie. So shit, I'll be like, all right, fuck it. They invite me because of my hookah. So yeah, I put just like this much for right now. And then I start working at it. You feel me? I start uh, spreading it out evenly. You don't want to pat it down like where it's flat. You just kind of want to like sprinkle it on there in a way. But yeah, you just want to spread it out. And you want to leave a, uh, uh, what's it called? Space in the middle of the, of the, for the airflow. So when you pull in, you're not pulling straight, like, you know, flavor. You want to let it, you want to get, leave some air in the cup. That way you can pull something. You feel me? But, um, you just got to spread out the hookah evenly. In the meantime, let me put some musica for myself because, um, yeah, I need some musica. So 
So I need more flavor on the side. Um, I'm gonna show you guys like the final product of it, what it looks like and what you guys are shooting for. Some people, I've noticed that some people put a lot, like not too much, like barely any flavor and that's not good because then when you're pulling and you have the charcoal lid, you're gonna be pulling a lot of charcoal into your lungs, which is what's not good for you. And that just gets into your lungs and you know, that's what causes problem. You don't wanna put too much, like not a, you wanna put right the right amount of flavor on it. And of course, there's different kinds of like copas, cups, there's different kinds of this. So um, yeah, there's like plastic ones. There's just different shapes, different, all that stuff. So, but the favorite, the best one is this one. I have to say this is the best one, the one that's like this. Guys, making a hookah is super simple, but people somehow fuck it up, bro. On God, they do. Well, I, this is, making a hookah is like doing surgery. On God, it is. Cause you gotta really spread out everything evenly. And I really be paying attention, bro. I be wanting to make the best hookah, bro. I don't want nobody to tell me like, damn, this hookah ain't pulling. Like, nah, chill, stop playing with me. I know my hookahs is fire, so you can't, nobody can say shit, bro. There you go, make sure it's all even, spread out, boop, 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 ba ba ba. So look, guys, let me show you. This is what you want it to look like, right? Not too much flavor. Uh, the hookah's not like patted down or anything like that. It's not flat. And of course, is um, there's the hole in the middle that I told you guys about that you want to leave it open like that. And yeah, that's basically it, bro. That's that's it for this for this part. That's all you gotta do. After that, then this is where uh, this thing comes in. I used to do just aluminum, where you get your aluminum from your kitchen, um, or or you buy your own. I don't know, but you get your aluminum right. And then you cut it to to kind of look like this. Maybe not as round. It'll be just square or whatever. But it does the same job. You feel me? But these just come ready and ready to go. So you don't got to be taking all your earrings at the parties to make holes and shit. We don't, that shit mad stressful, bro. So niggas get lazy. And I'm like, yo, esto cuesta. This is, I don't know how much this is. I think this is like three bucks, four or five. Something like that. But you get a lot, bro. You get a lot out of it. This thing lasts me forever. Um... And yeah, so you get these that come with the holes. I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah, they come with the holes ready and it's quicker. You make the hookahs faster and all that. So then you just put it on top. Yeah, I'll show you guys. So you put it on top, right in the center, right? And then you just squeeze it in there. Make sure it's nice and tight, but you don't want to press on the top. You just want to press like the sides, like so. Like this, you feel me? You wanna have it nice and tight, you don't wanna have it no no loosey goosey, you know? Nice and tight around the rim. Boom. Who the hell is calling me? Hold on y'all, my mommy calling. Hello? Hey, Dígame, señor mami. Dios te bendiga, ¿dónde anda yo? Aquí en la casa, haciendo un video. Mm. Oye, tú no recibió ningún mensaje de Madison. No. Like I said, I don't know where I left off. I was talking to my mom for the past like 10 minutes about some some job and stuff. Anyway, so this is what it looks like. You know what I mean? So I put the la copa la taza on top of the thingy. And, and the water, like I said, is already in there. The next thing is, so, actually I didn't really talk about this, but this is basically like a little cover that is made out of aluminum foil. There's people that are even lazier than this and they just buy the, the, it's a little cup thingy that goes on top that covers it. I'll probably throw a picture up so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Cause I know some of y'all be lost as hell sometimes and honestly I'll be lost too. But yeah, it's a little cup to cover it instead of doing all of this. All you do is put it on top and basically what it does, it cut like, it, it, it makes the, 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 what's it called? The charcoal light up more. That way when you pull, you really feel it light up and it, you can pull more. Um, you don't really need it, but if you really want your hookah to bust, and especially if you're all outdoors, this is great because of the wind is gonna, you know, turn off the charcoal. So you don't want that. And yeah, so I usually put this even though I'm indoors just because it does come out better. And yeah, so we'll put that after I light up the charcoal. But for the meantime, this is basically, I already made the hookah. The next step is lighting up the charcoal. I'm gonna show you guys how much charcoal I put. Um, here, I'll put this down for now. This is the charcoal. I like getting Starlight. There's other brands, but I don't like those because one, some of them are really like break really easily. Some of them don't last long enough. There's also the square ones that you can get. I'll probably throw another picture here. Bam! Picture for you. You can do those too. Those last you forever. And I believe they're also he healthier for you. I don't know. I'm just talking manager in it, but I think they are. And um, yeah, hookah at the end of the day is not healthy at all, but yeah, so so this is what they come like, right? They come in a so round thingy like this, but um, for usually for a hookah, I do one and a half. 
So basically, I just cut this in half, and it comes into this. So yeah, so then I put both of those on the hookah, and let it sit there and light it up. Do you feel me? So let me light it up for you guys, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. This is honestly my the worst part. This is the part that I hate the most, only because... Do I have a lighter here? Only because this shit stinks, bro. I hate the smell of this. Um, probably the worst thing possible. It just smells bad. So what I do is I open the window and I stick it outside so then that smell goes away because it honestly gets to me and it's nasty. That smell is gross, bro. So, I, I, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, so what I do is obviously you don't want to hold this in your hand because this gets extremely hot. So what I do is I put it on the tonsil thing and I hold it like so, right? And then I grab a lighter or you can go to your kitchen, but you know, you're boy lazy. You can go to your kitchen, you can turn on the stove, but then your whole kitchen is going to stink. And if you live with family who hate hookah or they don't fuck with the hookahs, then you know what I mean? You don't want to do that. So you do it in your room, at your own thingy, and you light up the charcoal. You start it at the bottom, wait for it to like start sparkling. You'll see it. you see the little smoke coming out too. you see the little sparkles. Honestly, it stinks. And then what I do is, I open my window and I... Stick it outside because it, look at the smoke. That shit stink, bro. Ugh. Is this the best hookah setup? Yeah, I know. Wait till I turn it on. Wait till it light up. That shit gonna be blowing clouds. I don't wanna drop this on, on my desk or my keyboard or anything like that because, yo, this thing be burning floors left and right, bro. If I show you my floor, how many black marks is on it, you'll be like, God damn. It looks like it came like that, but nah. That's, that's from dropping the hookah and shit. So let me go ahead and show you guys. So... So see guys, this is the charcoal right there. And so what I do with the other one, that way I don't have to, where did I put it? So I grab the other half, right? And instead of, you know, lighting it up again, I just put it on top. It'll light up by itself, you'll see. You'll see the little sparkles. Just light up. You see how it's sparkling on the side? And then next thing you know, the whole thing is sparkles. Yes, sir. Okay, so now what I do is, I grab it, boom, I put it aside for a little bit, I let it, you know, light up a little bit, really get the charcoal lit. You know it's lit when you blow on it and it's red and it turns like red. Look, ready? When you see the whole thing turn red like this one is, you see how this one still has like black around it? That means it's not lit yet. You see how this one's turning like white and then when you blow on it, it's like red, look. Yeah, that's how you know it's on. So after that... What you do is, you grab the charcoal, you put it on top, bam. So see, I put it right next to each other. You don't really want to have them touching just because when you pull, it's going to hit you stronger and then you're going to feel it more. So you put it separated, that way, you know, it's not coming from just one spot. And so, yeah, that's basically the whole setup right here. Um, I'm going to put the, the aluminum foil on around it now so you guys can see. All right, you guys, so look here. So see, I covered it. Um... You want to still leave some some room for the air to come in and out, but right now I just covered it a lot. That way it lights up faster um, because aluminum right here, this thing makes it heat up faster in there, obviously, because the heat stays in there, so it turns on faster. And then now I just uh, like my, my, my jail flops, my jail sandals with socks, white socks, of course. And so now uh, I grab the hose, right, and then I put it in the, in the hole on the side. Bam. Boom. Bam. Bop. Um, and that's the hookah setup right there, guys. I'm going to show you guys now when it's lit and I be doing some pulls and shit. But obviously, you can't do too much of it because YouTube doesn't like it. And then they're probably going to be like, oh, now he's smoking on YouTube. So we can't show that. And so they're not going to promote my video or share it. But if you guys share it, then, you know, YouTube can't do nothing about it. So share it. <laughs> Alright, you guys ready for the first pull? I let it sit there for a little bit, that way it lights up. But this is the first pull, alright? Okay, it's lighting up, it's turning on. Bussin! Bussin, bussin, bussin. I told you guys. Look. The trick is putting the right amount of flame. You put the little cover thingy, light up the charcoal, let it sit there, don't hit. Don't start pulling on it when the when it's like it's burning the flavor a little bit because 
that's when you're not really doing much and it's gonna hurt you so just let it sit there for a little bit let it you know start going getting everything heated and that's when you want to pull it some people be mad desperate and they start pulling on it with the charcoal and not even on yet and then that's when you know you get the lungs problems and stuff but Hookah flex. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my hookah setup. This is a hookah setup that I be doing here and there. I don't smoke that much. I, I do it when I'm super bored or like I work a lot, so I don't think I have time for this. But um, I was like, let me make a video for y'all how I be flexing my hookah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like the video. Comment down below if you guys smoke hookah. If you don't smoke. If you don't like smoking, it's good. You shouldn't smoke. Honestly, don't smoke. I'm telling you, don't smoke, bro. It's not even good for you. But Shit, you know what I mean? We don't follow the rules sometimes. But just so you guys know, I love you guys. Let me know. I'm trying to make some fire videos for you guys. I, yo, you guys have no idea how bad I want to make some fire-ass content for you guys. But it's not as easy as it is. But we, we got to figure out somehow, bro. Something's got to hit, bro. We've been making videos for a whole year. Something's got to happen, you feel me? But I hope you guys enjoy. Have a great night. See you guys. Or a great day. I don't know where you guys be watching, bro. See you guys in the next video. Peace.